California, the land of outdoor living, is naturally the home of the little electrically powered cars, which have become so popular with elderly persons who use them for both marketing and a veritable host of other purposes. First created in Long Beach eight years ago, these little three-wheeled self-powered cars are now made in Redlands by the Marketeer Manufacturing Company, whose factory is located at 1601 West Colton Avenue. The Marketeer Company, which is headed by Merle Williams, is making four models for 1950, including an electric feed cart for poultrymen. The little electric cars are known as Marketeers. They are built from the ground up in the Redlands factory, which, by the way, is due for removal and expansion on a new site. They travel from 30 to 35 miles at 15 miles per hour on a single charging of their batteries. A single control needs only to be pushed forward to go and backward and stop. The batteries are recharged at night by the simple operation of plugging a cord into a household electric outlet. There are no foot controls, but the ease of operation is matched by their comfort in riding. Owners use them to take them to the grocery, theater, church, or on outings, to a convenient park. Operation costs are all but negligible. They are actually figured at three cents an hour. The first little electric cars built by Mr. Williams didn't look much like the 1950 Deluxe models. The latest types are equipped with a steel cable belt drive, which is absolutely silent. The earlier types used a chain drive to transmit power from the direct current electric motor to the rear wheels. They are 38 inches wide, 75 inches long, and weigh something over 900 pounds with batteries. The marketeers are now almost invariably closed models with removable tops, plastic windshields, all steel frames, and aluminum aircraft skin bodies. Thick upholstery makes them ride like an easy chair. They have lights front and rear, and even steel bumpers. The Model E is supplied with the Edison nickel alkaline batteries. It will travel 73 to 100 miles on a single charge and last a lifetime. While Mr. Williams has been making the sidewalk cars for the past eight years, the last four in Redlands, the year of 1949 saw the birth of the Marketeer electric feed cart with which a single man can feed up to 10,000 chickens an hour. The feed cart, operated much the same as the marketeer cars, carry a detachable feed hamper. It can be operated with only feet, leaving both hands free. Its new top speed is 5 miles an hour, and its power is sufficient to pull it uphill over dirt. The feed cart will operate 8 hours on a single battery charge, and like the marketeer, is charged by plugging into a wall outlet. When the batteries are recharged, a time control shuts off the current. The electric feed cart has become especially popular with the poultrymen who use the new style cage type poultry houses. They use it for hauling coops, carrying feed, collecting eggs, cleaning and countless other tasks. These feed carts have three speeds forward and three in reverse for actually, there is no difference between the front and rear of the utilitarian little power carriers. They are equipped with cable belt drive to two wheels and zero pressure puncture proof tires that require no air. While the marketeers are the invention of Mr. Williams, their improvement is also due in part to his brother in law, Joe McGee, who is associated in their manufacture at the Redlands plant. Recently, the marketeer company bought property at New Jersey Street and Highway 99, where a new and larger factory is planned within another year. Marketeer displays are familiar with Southland expositions. They have been a fixture at the Los Angeles, San Diego and Riverside County Fairs, as well as at the National Orange Show.